Welcome back everybody to the Chateau Farm. It's been a real mixed bag of weather over the last week or so and uh, we've been harvesting our carrots and our spinach and our chard and some of our overwintered produce has done absolutely fantastic and we'll show you some of that in the next couple of videos. But right now it's time to show you footage from a few weeks ago when we started potting on our aubergines, peppers and tomatoes. Gosh, it really is cold. <laughs> Anyway, back in uh, the propagation tunnel and um, it's time to get some of the crops that, um, crops, it's time to get some of the seedlings out of the propagators, um, the aubergine and then the peppers after that. Um, and they've been in there since about 20th of December, um, so about 10, just over two weeks now. Um, they're at that point that they really do need um, potting into pots. So this morning what I've done is I've just set up the first of one of the heat mats and this, oh that's nice and warm, <laughs> this will give, once the seedlings are potted on, uh, this will give them some nice gentle heat. Um, you do need things quite warm to start off pepper and aubergine seedlings. Um, tomatoes don't need to be as warm, um, but this is what the stage we're at at the moment. And so we've got the first succession of peppers. When these come out and get potted on, um, the first lots will be going on here, but then in the large tunnel in the field, uh, we have a eight meter um, uh, heat mat, and a lot of them will be going in there um, underneath um, a self-made dome. So they'll be on the heat mats once they're potted on, and then you'll also have hoops over the heat mat and plastic over that. Um, this is what we did last year. It worked quite well. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll work this year as well. So what I'm going to take, first of all, we literally will have hundreds and hundreds of these over the next few weeks being done. Um, so this is um, an aubergine called Black Beauty. So this is the first aubergine that I'm going to be potting on. You can see that some of the seeds have not done. A couple there not done great, but the rest have done okay. That was the uh, the first sowing and then we've got another sowing here and then we've got another sowing here of black beauty and some of these need some water um, we've got to uh, get those but a lot of the peppers have been done um, and uh, it's just been really cold even in this propagator um, the temperatures have not been the ideal temperatures um, what you really need if you're sowing um, professionally at this time of year for seeds that need the humidity and the heat we're talking 25 degrees plus um constantly um uh you need a germination chamber don't have that at the moment um but i like to push things um said this in our videos before i like to push things um so even though germination might be around i'd say that tray was around 75 percent there um it's still been great and i think a couple of them have come up but actually there must be a slug or something in here has eaten them so um, I'm still happy with that um, seed for me um, at the minute because it's safe seed. Some of it is um, plentiful and cheap and we can afford um, to start our seeds this way still just for this season um, from the uh, really early time of mid-December. Um, so I'll get that tray out. Uh, we'll water these few that need um, saving. Uh, these two Espelette home save seed. They're a pepper, a chilli pepper and uh, we'll get potting on. So here we are in the potting shed. We've got the aubergine black beauty and they're just gonna get exactly the same treatment that um, the broccoli did in the last video. And uh, we're gonna get these potted on and then placed on the heat mat as soon as possible. You don't want them getting too cold, um, ideally. So here are the first two trays. First 30, beautiful tiny cute little black beauty aubergines some of them have not even opened up yet you can actually just if you want to just help the seed come off if you're gentle you will do it on its own but there we go there's one stuck here as well this is hard to do when you haven't got the perspective the first 30 we've got another six over there that i just need to pull first 36 plants it's roughly about a bed um, 
and that will serve us uh, roughly one aubergine a week from each plant um, and that is enough um, just for the first couple of weeks of the season um, hoping to get these sometime in June just for the boxes um, and then after that um, we will go massively into production for aubergines um, we'll be preserving them for us we'll hopefully have more veg box customers as well and um, also making things for the restaurant um, and uh, oh, baba ganoush and oh don't even get me started <laughs> i love aubergines uh family not so much it tends to just be me and holly who like them but uh, we will have a lot of people who will be enjoying these apart from just us so now after we've done the aubergines, we are now on to potting on peppers. This is a variety called Robertina. Beautiful, beautiful red um, pepper once it's ripe, obviously green before. Can't wait to be tasting these. Average size, but produces a lot, particularly when you give it nice amounts of water and the heat units that we get here. Just gone to have a drink of my cup of tea. Second one in the morning and it's already gone cold. I need to be getting the flask out. Didn't do that last winter. Fall into the same trap and I have two cups of tea. Uh, oh, not finished again. Right, let's get potting on these peppers. Right now, we think that one of our sheep is pregnant, at least, and is due to give birth, which is this one. Not 100% sure, but you can see how her udder is quite swollen, and her teats are protruding, and also her vulva as well. Can't get close enough at the minute. Vulva is very swollen, which is under this tail. If I can just get her to stand still and show you, there we go. So, and she looks bigger than the others, she looks round. So, time will tell. Those are kind of the signs that I've read that means she's probably about two weeks out if she is. But compared to the other sheep who do not have rounded bellies, like this one for instance, there and there, you see the rounded belly. Uh, the udder on this one is not swollen at all. We're doing all the same things we did for Stella, aren't we? <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we're going to keep an eye on the sheep, but especially this one, and see how it's going. Hello, Amber. Hello. Oh, daddy. You want a head stroke? You want a head stroke? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. So the sheep have just had, uh, the animals have just had a day in here which is just around the first part of the farm beds, uh, the field farm beds that is. And no Amber, and no. Um, and they're due for a move this afternoon, so they'll have had less than 24 hours in here. Um, or about 24 hours by the time they move this afternoon. And then we'll be moving them on into the kitchen garden. We're trying to, uh, instead of mowing, because we usually 
the ram and stella butting heads there we usually um start mowing it's now february and we usually start mowing at this time of year because the grass starts growing out of control um we don't like to be honest to uh, keep it too short just before it stops growing because it's nicer to have uh, for that grass to have the length um for its health um so it doesn't get if you cut grass too short before winter it gets loads of moss in it and other things so um so we're just where the grass is really nice at the moment and this is now short and cut by them but it was lovely and lush yesterday um we are putting them in those areas to start off with um while the pasture beyond there is just starting to grow again um and is not quite ready um so we'll see we'll see how it goes and we'll see if we're going to get a sheep uh, see if we're going to get to a couple of lambs one or two hopefully oh oh <laughs> body coughing there and you can see that he's doing really well no he is a really nice size now very shy of us very shy and amber for all her bustle when we first got her she is also liking her attention now just like stella did yeah so that's the update with the animals and we'll let you know as soon as we have any lamb news thank you for watching if you liked today's vlog please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing we can grow many things on this farm but we do need your help to grow our channel and you can also catch up with us on an almost daily basis on our social media channels at the chateau farm and our other pages all the links are in the description below this video and we'll see you in a few days time